Coming up this week on The Happy House, we're back with Christopher Straub. We'll start in the kitchen where I'll teach Christopher how to make an easy and savory roast chicken. Next, he'll teach me something, how to turn cast off footwear into artwear. Stay with us. Hi, I'm happy. <laughs> I live in a quiet town outside of Minneapolis with my family. The real happy house is far from quiet. I learned early on things are much easier with a little help. I also have a few tricks of my own to share. It's go time, people. Welcome to the happy house. with my friend Christopher Straub today and we are going to get cooking. Christopher, I was surprised to learn that you actually don't cook because you're good at so many things and you're so creative and a creator of things, but cooking, no? No, I never really got into cooking and I came from a family that had a lot, of, had chefs, and but it just never appealed to me and so this is the most food I've ever seen in my kitchen at one time. We arrived at this kitchen today and it was pristine. I'm sorry I dirtied it up. It's gonna be fine. Okay. I think the results are gonna are gonna be uh, be why we're doing this. All right. So today I'm gonna to teach you to do one of the very easiest things to do, which is roast a chicken. And it often is a very impressive meal you can make for a family, but super easy. I don't look at this and go, "This is gonna be super okay. easy." Are you ready to get started? Yeah. So one thing my mom and my aunt always taught me is you need a towel over your shoulder when right. you're cooking. That's what has to happen. Are you ready? Mine coordinates. Perfect. All right. Perfect. I'm ready. Okay. So. The first thing we're going to do before we get our chicken ready right. is we are going to make a bed of vegetables to go under the chicken. So we have some carrots. Sliced carrots. Do you like carrots? <laughs> you, you, you recognize carrots? I do, I do. I okay. Do. So we are going to pour these carrots in here. And my friend Alice Soyfert taught me that you actually don't need to peel carrots, which okay. I love that tip. But you still wash time. everything, right? Washed everything, right. yes. And then we have one of your favorites, squash. Okay. So we're gonna put some squash I like here. Squash. Yes, on the bottom of the pan. Can, we, can I break it up? Yes, break can I it be up, a please. Yes, be a helper, please. And then we're gonna put also some zucchini. I am a vegetable freak. Then what we need to do is add a little bit of seasoning. Okay. And so one thing I want to show you is we've got this traditional salt grinder, which is great. You can go ahead and put some salt in there. All right. How do I do this? Just take the. Is there lid, a lid? Yeah. Lid off and then twisty, twisty. How much? Mm, just. That seems good. Okay. And people can also salt after it's made. Oh, great. Then we are going to add some of this Italian seasoning. Rosemary, garlic, oregano, parsley, all of those things. And it comes in this handy little wow. grinder. Grinder? So you can open that up. How do I do this? Help oh, me. Open. There, I did. And then grind onto oh here. Yeah. Oh, this okay. is such a good mm -hmm. trick. So then we need a bed for our vegetables. So we're going to put in some olive oil. Do I want to put this whole thing in? No, I okay. would just probably <laughs> pour enough. Drizzle? Yep, drizzle, drizzle. Perfect. You like? And then um, a lot of times they say, oh, stir. And I just kind of, I just kind of shake things around. Now we come to our chicken. All right. So we've washed our hands thoroughly because we're going to be handling Scrubbed this up. chicken. I've never even touched a raw chicken Touched before. a chicken? Okay. So we have already washed this chicken, patted it dry, and now what we are going to do is, is stuff. This normal? This is normal. Yeah. Do I to, should I hold it? Yeah, hold it. So we're going to stuff the inside of our chicken. I'm actually going to hold it, and you're going to stuff the inside oh, okay. of our chicken. Okay, that's, that's better. So we would like some onion How many in our onions? chicken, just like mm, some, and we can actually put some in this vegetable. Okay, so there's like a half a cup or something. Yes. Yep. Some. Some we don't need to be exact. Okay. Okay. And then actually pour the rest of those onions in here. I'll break yep. Them up. Yep. Perfect. Then we're going to pour some garlic That's in a our lot chicken. Of garlic. How much we don't garlic need we all that, but just some. Is that enough? Then we are going to put a little bit of this rosemary. Not all of it, because we're going to put some on the top. I love Doesn't the smell that smell of amazing? So it's just a little bit, you said. Mm-hmm. So then I would like you to put these lemons in the chicken, and you might think you're squeezing them. You're not. You just, just drop them right just in. Just drop them Bolt. right in. Shove them in. Mm -hmm. Shove them in. Shove. Shove There's them in. There's not a lot of room in here. I, I know. know. Well, <laughs> we're making our chicken nice and full. All right. Full. So then we are going to place our chicken in the pan. Again, okay. people talk about tying the legs together, which is a pretty official thing to do. I actually never do it. 
I just put is it, it in. To keep, is, are people it's just, saying that to keep everything in? Maybe, or not maybe. Just so it walks off? But I never, no, it's, yeah, so it doesn't walk <laughs> off. So then I place the chicken in here. I tuck the wings under. Okay. And then I'm going to put some melted butter on top. We actually probably need, oh, do you have a, like a butter brush or an oil brush? A butter brush. Some kind of oil brush. Is this it? Oh, yeah. He I has it. Have something. He has All it. Right, yes. Cool. I'd like you to then brush the top of this chicken with the butter. Oh, the whole thing? Like yep, all the, the whole exposed thing. Exposed bits. Yes. We need to preheat our oven. We haven't done that yet. Okay. Do you know how to work your oven? No, I don't. But I like. I, I find this very therapeutic. Like okay. painting butter on this thing. Okay. Right, so we're going to be done with the butter, all and right. then I want you to sprinkle some rosemary on I top. Can handle this. And then we are going to turn on your oven and preheat it. Oh, this is. Look how beautiful this is. Christopher, you have created a beautiful chicken. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> so we are going to now preheat the oven okay. and put this in. We're going to cook it for about an hour and a half. It depends on the weight of the chicken. Okay. And then we have a full meal here. Are you ready right. to set your oven? I'm, I'm, I'm ready to do it. Okay. Turn your oven on to 400. Do you want to put your chicken in? Oh my gosh, look how clean this oven. This see, it's never been used. Okay, in the middle rack. Yeah. And we're going to set the timer for 75 minutes, okay. done. Beeping. We just made a chicken. After these messages, simple tips on turning leftover chicken into delicious meals. Welcome back to the happy house. Christopher, we just taught you how to make a chicken. Yes. And it wasn't actually that hard, or, or was it? How did you feel about that? No, I, th I think I can handle it. Okay. I think I can handle it. But we spent about 20 minutes prepping, and it's going to take an hour and a half to bake, and you're a very busy guy. I don't have that kind of time. You don't have that kind of time all the time, but you're going to do this sometimes, right? Sometimes. Okay. If so, you make me, if you so, call me and remind me well, how to cook a chicken. When we don't have time, we bring in our secret weapon. You know what that is? What is it? Ooh, the rotisserie chicken. It's like pre-cooked. It is pre-cooked. So you buy these rotisserie chickens. <laughs> that chicken. seems a lot easier than making my own. It's, it is easier, but it's not necessarily as good. Mm -hmm. However, what I love about the rotisserie chicken is there's a whole bunch of things you can do with it. All right, let's gather our ingredients. We're going to make some soup. All right, All let's right. do it. Chicken. Pasta. Ooh, pasta. Veggies. Yes, veggies. We need broth. We need our seasoning and salt. We have all of our ingredients. So the first thing we're going to do is add some chicken, and this is a lot of chicken. Um, That's a lot of chicken. So I would just add probably about half that. Okay. I know it's gonna be great. It's Love gonna be it. great. Oh, it smells so good. Then we are going to add some veggies, and right here, one of your favorite things to eat is squash. I heard. I love squash. So we are going to put some squash in here. Yeah. Me too. And then this is just basically another cheat, a frozen mixed veggie mix, but I like a lot of I'm vegetables. I'm familiar with this. Are you? <laughs> you? You know how to use that? Yeah. Okay, so that's perfect. And then we're going to add some broth. All right. And so start pouring? So pour. Yep, we're going to pour both of these. Actually, I'll help you too so we can get started so with this. That's right. I, a lot of times, will take my rotisserie chickens off and I buy two of them at a time. I will boil them down in a pan and make my own chicken stock, which is really easy to do, but we just bought this. So that's, that would take the place of this? It would take the place right. of that, yes. So then, not quite yet on oh. this, so then we're going to add some seasonings, and we talked about this before, but this is an, a pre-made Italian seasoning mix, so just season. I like seasoning. Yeah, so this is a pretty big batch of soup, so I would definitely add plenty of seasoning. How many people are we feeding with this soup? Six, eight, ten. Depends okay. who you're having for dinner. If you're having my son Henry, one person. Just okay. kidding. Okay. Uh, so spoon. then, actually, we have this pasta here. I have parboiled this pasta. We're going to leave it aside because pasta expands in soup. So we're going to just cook this, simmer it, get it nice and seasoned, throw this in with the cover on like four to five minutes before we're actually ready to eat. And then our soup is made. And that's it? That's it. That's easy. Yeah. Easy breezy, lemon squeezy. <laughs> but let's just start kind of heating it up open top. All right. Turn it on medium. There you go. All right, and we are moving on. Do you want to make a salad, a chopped salad? Yeah, like definitely. So the first thing we're going to do is greens. open up our greens. And this is just a baby spring mix. You can, if you're not, Press on time, of course, buy your own organics and like kind of chop it all up yourself. But we're busy. We're busy people. We're busy people. I we got things to do. We don't got time for this. Okay, 
So then let's add some cucumber powder. These are the biggest want. cuts of cucumber I've ever well, seen. Well, they're not going to be after you see what we're going to do to them. Cucumbers more, are good. More, more. Perfect. Okay. Then some peppers. I can do this. They're different colors. I didn't yep. know they came in so many different colors. They do. Red, orange, yellow, green. It's perfect. Okay, that's good. Let's go on the pepper. Okay. And then some corn. Uh, mm -hmm. I'll just mm -hmm. launch some in there. Yep. And a few scallions. This is like the best looking salad I've ever seen. And then we're going to wait to add our chicken until the end. Okay. Here is our secret weapon. Are what you is ready that for this? called? It is called a salad chopper. Have okay. you ever had a chopped salad before? Uh, You've had a chopped yes, salad? Yes, I have. So that can happen at your own This home. was involved in the chopped salad? Mm-hmm. So I want you to go to oh town and chop your salad up. I didn't like prepare for a workout. See how it gets everything? I'm keeping this. Oh, you are keeping this one actually. Okay, I'm leaving good. it for you. So what I like to do with a salad like this is chop it up and I don't dress it. You can actually put it in containers, store it in your fridge because if you pre-dress it, then it gets soggy. We've done it. We've made a salad and a soup. And now we have to add, okay, chicken. How much chicken? Now we have to add our protein. All right. You can also add like black beans to this. All right, chop, chop that up a little bit more. And chop the chicken. Chop the chicken. This looks so good. And we've got bread to serve with this and our soup. I mean, that's an easy and really healthy meal. This is great. It's so robust and it looks beautiful. All right. Hey, thanks for being my guinea pig. Hey, thank you so much for <laughs> teaching me some of these things I would never have known about. All right. And thank I'm keeping you. this. You are keeping that. Christopher, I'm going to pull our soup off. I think it's done. And then All I'm right. going to check on our chicken. Do you want to serve us up some of that salad? Oh, yes. Shake our dressing. Shake, 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 shake. No, I am so excited. I've learned so much today. Are you going to remember all these recipes? Uh, there's no way I'm going to remember all of these steps. This soup looks delicious. Let's see how your chicken looks. This is your first chicken. Are you ready? Yes, I'm okay. ready. Okay. Ooh. It's sizzling. It looks beautiful. Wow. This chicken actually has to set for about 20 to 30 minutes. We're going to tent it with some tin foil. Okay. But first, I want to try some of the other creations we have made. All right. Here, let me scoop up some salad. All right. How am I going to remember all of this, well, these steps? All of these recipes, or actually, I want to remind people the framework for these recipes okay. will be on our website because it's all about creating your own things and just seasoning to taste, adding things you love, and making your own food. Let's do this. So what's the website? Thehappyhouse.com, of right. course. All right, are you ready? I am so ready. Okay, what are we gonna try? I'm gonna try the salad first, okay. actually. I don't think we can go wrong with salad, no. right? No. So this is gonna be good. Mm. Mm -hmm. I love it. I love it too. I'm going to eat this like every night. I love it. Perfect. Mm -hmm. <laughs> thanks for cooking with me today, Christopher. Well, thanks for showing me all these steps. And like before you brought this all to me, I would never have thought that I could have created all of these. With a chicken. Mm -hmm. The chicken is the key. It's all about the chicken. All well, right. Thank I you. Thank you for being my assistant. Let's try this. Is this all good? Right. Mm. That is really good. I'm a good cook. Yes, you are. Now. Thanks. Now. All right. Thank you, Christopher. Um, there will be more to come with you. We've got some other projects that we've got on the docket for the Happy House, right? I'm looking forward to it. All right. Me too. Thank you. Up next, Christopher teaches me how to revitalize and customize an old pair of boots using something you might not expect. I'm here with Christopher Straub today, Project Runway finalist and my friend. Yes. And last time I saw you, Christopher, you were wearing the most amazing boots. And I asked you, where did you get them? And you told me. I made them, like I repurposed them. Yeah. And what I wanted to do is create the effect of a metal toe on the boot. And so I'm going to show you how to do this. It's Pretty spectacular. So these you've already started That's doing. That's right. We are going to uh, make the mate to these. Are they yours? or? No, these I actually got at a thrift store for just a couple bucks. So this is something that you can do to update 
um, your own boots or, or you can find one in your size and make them personal. You can do it with boots. You can do just a little detail on shoes, even on flats, just the front of the toe. So let's get started. What do we need okay, to do? Okay, so this is what we need to do the project. We need whatever shoe or boot that we're going to do shoe, right check. here. We're going to need some tissue paper. I've already put some in there. Go ahead and push that into the toe because we're going to want it nice and stiff because we're going to be pushing a lot on here. All right. Then we're going to need masking tape to tape off the area, so we'll share this. We're going to need scissors, and that's going to help cut plastic bags that we've got off to our side here. Okay. And that's when we paint, we're going to mask off the area, cover the rest of the shoe in the plastic bag, and then we're going to take our metallic spray paint. And I like metallic, that's the look I'm going for. Okay. You can use a solid color if you want, you can use a glitter paint. This works great for giving this effect. Now is this going to last on my shoe? Will it wear well? Well, that's a good question. That's why we have a clear coat that we can put on after it's all finished and, uh, and after it's all dry. So we are going to start by taping off the area. And don't be afraid of using like little bits. So I'm going to tear off little strips and tape around. I want to go as close to the, that line as possible. The front seam of Exactly. My shoe. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give myself a bunch of tape. I'm going to hand this over to you and you can start too, okay? And as you go, push that stuff down firmly. That's why we stuffed, because it's it's gonna um, benefit you. So I'm actually using my fingernail to put it in. That was gonna be my next tip. Okay. You got me. You're so good. No, you're so good. Uh, okay. So then I want to go around the base, so where it meets the sole, and like you said, using your fingernail to go in and really um, securing that the the tape to the sole, because um, it's it's so easy. I mean. Like, I'm telling you right now, we're halfway through. The prep work is almost the hardest part. Exactly. And that's going to, that's, um, and making sure that that prep work is right okay. is really the key to right. the How success of this project. Let me do this. Yeah, exactly. And, more, and like, when you come around on the front, just make sure to close up that gap here okay. where, where the little architecture meets up with the sole, too. Okay. Christopher, I think I'm done, um, although I feel like I need to reinforce this a little bit. Yeah. Your shoe looks a little bit different. And How do you make actually the process look artistic <laughs> and the finished product look artistic? It really, it really is that I, I know that the way this looks now is going to represent the way it looks once it's okay. uh, spray painted. Okay. You're great. Uh, it's, yeah. you, you're covering all your spots, so, so you are definitely uh, on par. I'm in training. All right. Okay. Perfect. So now what? All right. So now the next step is you've got to grab your little trash bag that I pushed off to the side there. Okay. And we are going to mask the entire shoe, okay? Entire <laughs> shoe or just? Uh, the entire shoe that, that we don't want to paint. Got it. Okay. Very good. Very good. So I have a, okay. I have a scissors. And so what I'm going to do is just, I'm going to just cut um, probably about a six inch hole. Uh, towards the bottom here. You don't want the underside of your tape to stick to the bag at all. So slip it in just so that that little bit of the toe peeks out. Look, did I do this? Yeah, you're doing it. And so what we have to do now is a little more taping, but okay. this time we don't have to be as thorough. What, because we're gonna, I'm taping my bag down. Is that's that right? right, exactly. Be sure to push down really tight too to make sure that there are no um, gaps where the the paint can get in between the tape and the bag. Okay, I think I did that. Because that's called overspray and we don't want that. Here's what's gonna happen. Original shoe, my shoe. We're gonna compare it. I feel like there's gonna be a problem, but. I don't think we're gonna have much of a problem. Okay. We wanna make sure not to get um, uh, paint on the rest of our shoe and so. Oh yes, my shoe is actually exposed because if there's a breeze, it can like blow back. That's right, exactly. So you can tuck that in and here I'll get some little tape bits. There. Look at that. Perfect. It's called teamwork. Teamwork. Definitely if you have an assistant, this is gonna go a lot quicker. All right. Okay. So watch me. Okay. All right. So we're gonna we're we want to be about 12 inches away, 12 to 16 inches away, and just light blasts. We want to coat all sides of it: the front, the back, the sides, the top. Okay. okay That's try. one coat. You don't want to be too close, and you don't want to just get one direction. You want to get all around. Ooh, that was really bad. That's great. 
All right, so we want to let this um, uh, dry for a little bit, okay. and then we're gonna go in for a second coat. I think mine is ready for a second coat because it dries very yeah, quickly, like that. right now. Yep, it's like literally a minute or mm -hmm. less. Yep. Exactly. So yours might be good because that that metallic, uh, that silver metallic, is very strong. So we need to wait about how long, Christopher? Um, five ten minutes. Let's take a rest in the hammock. Okay. And then we'll come back. All right, sounds good. Okay. Are we gonna fall over? Mm -hmm. Are you excited about your shoe? Yeah, I am excited about my shoe. I'll tell you the best way to do this. Turn it over and kind of break it open from the bottom. Okay. Okay. And then you can slowly lift off all the tape. It's amazing! I did it. You did a great job. I was a little nervous, actually. These are very cute. So there you go. So then, I mean, and no one would question that you had just used a little bit of tape, a trash bag, and some spray paint. And an original creation. There I mean, accessories, I love making accessories look a little bit different than anything else out there because a lot of the things we buy are just from mass retailers or things like that so and this is a way to make it special and make it stand out yes yeah thank you christopher well, thank you it's been fun as always always it's really good stop down everyone shoes there's six and a half six and a half there's six and a half you have to get tissue out of there <laughs> there's six and a half and there's tissue in there girl